because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Okay. This is Gemma from IFL TV. We're here with John O'Carroll, who got the win tonight against Miguel. How are you feeling, John O? Feel good. It was a lot harder fight than I expected. I was hoping to make a miss and make him pay, but he was a, he had a very strong backhand. But I'm very happy. It was an entertaining fight, and I hope the fans got their money's worth. Well, they definitely did. And you were, we seen you speak to Floyd Mayweather after when you got out of the ring. Can you tell us what Floyd had said to you? Uh, Floyd said, bro, you, got, you definitely got... Um, the talent to be a world champion, just need to know how to grab. And he was giving Albert then a few little tips and stuff. So it was, uh, it was nice to hear someone like Floyd, a legend of, of watching my whole career, say that I could be a world champion. So uh, very motivating. Well, that's a great compliment from one of the greats. And thank, thank you. you for speaking to me this evening. Thank you, Gemma Baggett. <laughs> Appreciate it. Shit, no. So what do you have planned next on the cards for your career? Um, to be honest, I'm hoping to get maybe a world title eliminator and then a world title. I'm, I'm not planning on staying in boxing too long. This is a hard sport and um, I'm really enjoying the journey right now. That's one thing all I will say. I'm enjoying the journey, but at this stage of the game, I just want world titles. So if it's not a big fight or a world title fight, then I'm not even bothered, you know. This guy was very tough. I've learned a lot tonight, but I do genuinely believe that I'm ready for world titles now. So um, I have the experience and that's exactly what I want. So I want that belt. Amazing. Well, Floyd, one of the greats, already gave you the compliment, saying that he reckons you're definitely in the line for some world titles and you do very well. Oh, yeah. So you have had your last couple of fights here in the UAE in Dubai. How do you feel about fighting in Dubai? You know what I have to say? Um, I always get a great crowd in Dubai. Um, it's, please God, it's going to be the next Vegas of the, the capital, you know. Um, I know they're doing a lot of fights in Abu Dhabi, a lot of big fights in Saudi now. So hopefully the boy can be in the mix with some of these big fights. And I'd love to bring a world title to the boy. It would be, uh, be a dream come true. Now this is my home. Let's bring a world title back to the UAE. Very nice. Well, enjoy the rest of your weekend and happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you, Gemma. Appreciate it. Back to you at IFL TV. <laughs> okay, this is John O, King Kong Carroll with IFL TV, sponsored by Everlast. Gemma Baggett, can I speak to you for a minute? Absolutely. <clears throat> Gemma, how was your first interview? And nerve-wracking, my legs are still like jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Is this something that you would like to uh, pursue with a career, maybe? Who knows? Uh, a couple more whiskeys, yeah, I definitely would. <laughs> <laughs> and Jimmy, you look very beautiful tonight. I appreciate all the compliments and everything else that I couldn't stop hearing you. Ah, I fucked up! Go again! Go again! <laughs> okay, okay. All I could hear while I was in the ring is Jimmy screaming. I appreciate all the love and support you showed me over the year, um, over the year, over the years. What's it like to live with a boxer? It is a roller coaster. Do you know what? You, John, stayed with us in the house for this camp. He usually goes away, and his trainer, lovely Albert Arapi Tan, came and moved in with us, and it was a pleasure. It was actually so enjoyable to have the two of them together. Everyone went very smooth. The way went well because obviously my fantastic <laughs> you plan. Uh, no, but everything was went really smooth. Enjoyed this camp. Loved the boxing career, but I am also very much looking forward to the afters. The, the retirement. The retirement. And Jimmy, since um, since my amateur days, what's it like being with a man now who is a uh, I always say famous, but she's like, you're not famous. So what's it like now being with someone that gets recognised when we go to Ireland and stuff like that? How has your life changed from the amateur days to now my professional days? Do you know what? I think we've been just in it so long together. It just comes naturally. It just kind of, you roll with the punches. Yeah, Do you know sure. what I mean? Everyday life, it just is our normal now, really. I've been doing this since you were 13. It was not as scary when you were younger. I didn't, I didn't really take, see how serious it was. And then over the years, obviously, when you end up like this, <laughs> how many stitches did we get this evening? I don't know, I got six in this way, and I think four or five in this way. This is not the first time I've watched you get <clears throat> stitched up without any painkillers, and we've done a few hospital runs as well. So it's an enjoyable sport, and it keeps you on a great path in life, but it's also nerve-wracking and hard to watch for somebody you love to be watched, like stitched up <clears throat> in the 
back of some room. So, um, once again, I appreciate all your hospitality with me and Albert. Um, all the <laughs> it was hospitality because when you live with a boxer, it's hard work. Trust me, when you're making way, Gemma done all the nutritional work for us. She's trying to put weight on Albert. I was trying to stock you up, and I'm trying to lose weight. So she was a chef for both of us. So the nutritional part was very hard. And then being a full-time mother as well, she was cooking for the kids. So it was three different meals. So once again, I take my hat off to you. Thank you for, um, for all your hard work. You know, I appreciate it so much. Um, one more question before we go. Would you recommend being with a boxer? Do you think life would be easier if you weren't with a professional boxer and you had a man working a nine to five? Or is being with someone who follows their dream goes out with them fights at the end of the day. You know, obviously we have two kids together, so I'm sure it's hard seeing your man being stitched up and stuff like that. So would you rather me have a nine to five or would you rather me follow my dreams and chase those goals? Uh, definitely would prefer a boxer because there's obviously ups and downs, but I really enjoy the, the healthy lifestyle that it puts you on. Like you have no choice, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So there's always like, our life is really based around nutrition, healing, taking care of your body. Do you know like that? It keeps you away from being out gallivanting on the weekends. <laughs> it teaches you great discipline, great respect yes, as well, which sure. I think is incredible. And then we have met so many incredible people along on the journey. I think, do you know, if we're working on a regular nine to five, we might not have had the opportunity to meet the likes of Floyd Mayweather tonight. And exactly, yeah. Uh, Roy Jones Jr. and all these incredible people. So it is a great, it, you know what? <clears throat> It's an amazing journey to be a part of, and I'm not the one getting punched in the face. So, dude, the perks are there. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you. Back to you, Kilgan, at OFL TV. And once again, we want to thank our lovely sponsors at Everlast. Refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut up, up Harry. And it must have been about 17, 16, 17, winning their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 